Then the door opens, and out comes her father. <gasps> no! Oh, man. So then, who was in the bedroom? Yeah, that was a little lame, Natalie. I've got a scary story for you. And it's about this very place. There used to be a resort around here called Quiet Grove. But over the course of 10 years, there were several mysterious disappearances. Every time a person went missing, a black flower was found. The resort's reputation was destroyed, and eventually, it went out of business. But the legend never died. Tourists and reporters were still lured here by the history of the place. The victims were never found. The mystery was never solved. And that's where this story really begins, with two journalists who wanted to learn the truth about Quiet Grove and the legend of the faceless grave digger. I don't know. Won't people laugh at us for writing about this? We get laughed at for writing about aliens, Jess but we're going to find out the real cause of the disappearances. Nah, I won't go no further than this. Get out here if you want to keep going. Can you believe it? We might be the first people to figure out the secret of Quiet Grove and why all those people disappeared. Do you think we'll run into that faceless gravedigger character? <laughs> Boy, would that be a scoop. So, four people went missing in ten years. Everyone blamed someone, or something, called the Faceless Gravedigger. But the police had no real suspects, and the victims were never found. We've got our work cut out for us.
July 22nd. I hear a strange howling at night. I know a lot about dogs, and this was definitely not a dog. But then, what was it? July 24th. The police came asking about the missing man. I told them about the howling, but they just laughed.